Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the Red Wiggler, formerly known as the Cocoon Only Bin. Oh, well look at that. I do believe this was the topic of the spring surprise, and it looks like some things were eaten and some things are growing. So let's take a look here and, oh, springtails, yay said nobody ever. Okay, so looking at the red wigglers here, I know we fed them some rice and we fed them some yard waste or weeds. So that's been a couple of weeks. Looks like some of the weeds have survived and thrived. Um, onion peel there. But as far as the rice goes, I'm not seeing any of the rice. So, as promised, the rice is good, fast food for the worms. The, the weeds, not so much. Looks like some of those are, I don't know if they're trying to grow or if they're just not decaying. It's hard to tell. But I think I'm going to leave this one open as well and let that start drying out. It's probably got a good long time before it's, it's probably got a couple of months before it's ready to harvest. But I think I don't want it to get any wetter. Because um, once it gets too wet, then it is very, very, very hard to get it dried down to a normal um, moisture level. So I think better to start now then end up in a mess. So it looks like some of those little crab apples are still working. And uh, I'm going to get these guys some food. Okay, these guys are going to get some mango and some rice. And uh, one of the things I wanted to mention, I get a lot of questions from people, you know, how do I know when to feed them or how much to feed them? And honestly, it is based on what your worms are capable of doing. And honestly, you don't know what it is until they do it. So if, you know, it's been two weeks since I've checked in on these guys, there's no food left except for a few bits here and there. Um, so I know that I'm feeding them at an appropriate rate. Um, if there's food left over, you should probably, you know, hold off feeding them or only feed them a little bit, you know, to try and continue on until you are going to feed them again. So like the mango is going to be very fast food. They're going to go through this super fast except for the pit. The rice, same story. They're going to go through that very quickly. There's probably a pound, pound and a half uh, of worms in here. I might be underestimating it a little bit. Um, but so they're going to be able, and that was not a whole pound of food. And I know a lot of places will be like, they can eat their weight every single day in ideal conditions, um, with the ideal kind of food. Maybe I've never known it to be that I feed them about their body weight a week. Uh, and that including the bedding. So there's still quite a bit of bedding in here. Um, so that I don't really, if you overfeed them, then you take the chance of making the bin toxic and killing off your worms or making it heat up. And um, so if you overfeed, the microbes in the bin will heat up everything and then the next thing you know it gets too hot for the worms and they all run away or they all die. Um, both are bad. So that's how, you know, I try and keep everything in balance. So they've got their food here. They didn't have any left, so they're good. Now I'm going to move them out, and then we're going to look at the horizontal bin. Holy moly, that is a lot of springtails. Um, I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick that up, but they're tiny little white hopping things. Um, and there's a lot of them. And this bin is also super moist. Looks like a lot of the weeds did not get eaten, but the rice is gone. 
they still do have uh, some bedding in here, not a lot. But the moisture level is getting to a level that I do not want it to go any further, so I'm going to leave the lid off of this one too. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I churned the whole thing up, make sure there's no anaerobic pockets in there. When it gets to be this wet, you are kind of teetering on too wet, and um, that's when things can go anaerobic, which is bad for the worms, and tends to make things smell very, very bad. Um, so I am going to first get them some neem cake for all the critters. I should probably go back and put some in the other bin. So that's about a quarter of a cup in this bin. and I hesitate to do any more than about a quarter cup for the bin on any one feeding. I'm afraid of there being too much of something. Uh, I know that's not super scientific, but um, everything in moderation is good uh, advice for everything. So you can feed forbidden foods like onions and hot peppers and an egg, like I did the African night crawlers, but in moderation. If you don't overdo it or feed them the same thing constantly, um, the variety of the food also can help mitigate any sort of problems you'll have for any particular kind of food that's going to cause you a problem or cause the worms problem as the case may be. So that's why I, um, I'm not going to dump a ton of neem meal in here. I do know that it takes a while to work, so I don't want to take uh, a risk of there being a concentration buildup. Um, so looks like we got some of the weeds left, but no rice. So I'm going to make them a nice little hole here, and then I'm going to give them some more food. So they're going to get more of the same. I'm going to give them some rice. And then they're going to get some mangoes. Looks like they're going to get some slow food, which is the celery. Um, so we'll have something a little different to peek in on this bin. Actually, I'm going to take this one and I'll give this to the vertical bin. So we'll have something, some uh, slow food and some fast food both to uh, look in on when we come back and look at this. So bananas, celery, and some rice. I'm going to give that a good cover. Make sure that, for the most part, the stuff that's going to attract any sort of pest is covered up really good. And then uh, I think that's about it for the bin today. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them below. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.